Hey guys, we are back at Covenant, and today we have a tour of a small scaver home built on the shore of the river. Now, I originally put this together as part of my touch-up of Covenant for the final tour, but I just loved it so much that I couldn't wait to share. Now, I am still working on touching up Covenant, just been a little bit short on time with work and Fallout 76 releasing recently. I just haven't been able to get a lot of build time in, but I assure you that tour is coming. There are just maybe one or two videos in between now and when that tour releases. And if you don't want to miss any of those, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when any of those videos go live. But with that said, let's get started. Let's go ahead and start things off with a quick walk around the exterior. Now my idea for this build was this is going to be the home of a pack scout and the scouts are in charge of finding settlements to sack as well as workers to capture. And you can see he's a little bit of a loner having set up his house pretty far away from the main settlement there. Just sitting on the outskirts right up against the river. You can see he has a little bit of a lean-to there with uh, some boards and plywood um, nailed up against some trees. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the interior. We can walk up this little makeshift ramp here and push past the can chimes. Now that brings us to a little makeshift dock. We can walk down the ramp and onto the shipping container to get a little bit of a better look at that boat. And you can see there, there's a uh, turret floating on a tire. Now I used that same technique in my Taffington Boathouse build, which was actually also just as fun as this one. You can see there's a fishing rod there and some cages in that boat. Catch a little food while you're out exploring. Now, looking over here, we have another floating tire, this time with a fire barrel, just to light the way. Now we can head up and check out the living quarters. Now over to the right, before we get to the actual sleeping area, we can see he has a little seating area set out here. Has a little pot for cooking some food, looks like there's some meat drying, a little bit of alcohol and chems laid out on that table there, as well as cigarette. I mean, it is the apocalypse after all, might as well have a smoke. Now we can walk up these cinder block stairs and check out a little workstation. Now being a scout, you're gonna come across a bunch of junk. So you can see there's uh, some small scrap there to be broken down, as well as some building materials sitting out on that shelf unit there. And then over here we have a little bit of a workstation. Looks like he has a pistol disassembled some aluminum and duct tape. Gotta have duct tape. And then, uh, of course, you have a great view of the river from up here. More chemicals on the ground and some boxes for storage. Just a nice little workstation on the balcony there. Now as we head downstairs, we can get a closer look at the sleeping area. Now you can see in there, there's a sleeping bag. Looks like a pipe rifle and some beer laid out there as well. Nice and protected from the elements inside of a vehicle as well as the wood roof over it. 
Now coming around this way, we get a better look at that chain link fence. So when you're up there working, you don't have a, an, an impeded view of the rest of his little area here. Then over here we have a doghouse. Now that comes from the uh, Dead Wasteland mod. Uh, I'll go ahead and link all the mods I use in a Google Doc in the description down below. And of course that brings us to a junk pile. You know, larger scrap for screws and gears and whatnot. Then over here we have a small garden with all of the ingredients you would need to uh, make some adhesive. You're definitely going to need adhesive for repairing any weapons and armor. Now you can make your own. I really enjoy building small scaver homes like this. I really should do more of that. Let me know down below if you'd like to see more scaver homes like this. Or if you'd want to see the build process for this particular home. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Drop me a comment down below if you have any questions about this build or any of my other builds. Subscribe if you want to see my next video goes live. We'll be back here at Covenant with an update on the touch-up progress. Now before I get out of here, I just want to let everybody know that I created a Discord for the community. The invite link is in the description box down below. You should come hang out if you want to talk about anything Fallout. I will also be posting pics of any in-progress builds, so it should be a good time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.